Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to discuss transaction graph and generalized transaction graph in theory of a definition of a transaction graph. A transaction graph is a collection of three things: finite set of state in which include one initial state, uh, maybe a final state, it may be one or many final states. And intermediate states that is the first requirement the finite set of states the second requirement is the finite set of transaction the transaction is the change of states the from one state to another state through input symbol it is called a set of transactions so the change in states the third requirement is an alphabets a finite set of alphabets possible input uh, letters uh, suppose the um, suppose we have an alphabet a comma b so this is the finite set of alphabets the transaction graph is a relaxed form of dfa deterministic finite automate it is the relaxed form of dfa uh, uh, a relax in term of uh, construction rules the construction rules is relaxed uh, in uh, tg transaction graph so which of the rules are relaxed we are going to see it in the next slide transaction graph is different from dfa uh, determinist finite automata because it can take empty transaction the dfa can take dfa can take cannot take empty transaction but transaction graph can take empty transaction where when whenever it is required uh, it can, uh, tra uh, uh, can the transaction can be uh, a string or a substring so it can take a transaction for a string for a whole string or for a substring but in dfa you cannot take transaction for a string or a substring so that is that is a relaxed form of dfa third one is no need to take transaction for all alphabets in dfa we have a rule that you must have to take a transaction for all alphabet in every state so there is no need in t in transaction graph there is no need to take transaction for all alphabets the fourth one is can take multiple transaction for an alphabet you can take multiple transaction on a state for a uh, uh, for alphabet but but in dfa you can only take one transaction for one alphabet so that is why we uh, we called that tg is a relaxed form of dfa the example is a language with all possible string so you can take transactions you can take uh, tg uh, transaction graph like q0 and uh, loop of a comma b so there is a transaction graph or you can take a, a q0 with a loop of a comma b and transaction on empty uh, into q1 uh, and the loop of a comma b so you can t you the transaction graph is very easy uh, when you are going to uh, implement this is the example of transaction graph with empty you cannot uh, 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 no transaction you yeah, no final state with empty language so q0 is the initial language but there will be no final state if you are going to create a transaction graph or a dfa uh, with empty language or no transaction no final state so you need to to create a transaction graph or dfa but there will be no final states uh, so the third one is like this one uh, q0 uh, q0 with a comma b loop and if you are going to see that k1 is a final state but there is no uh, uh, transaction no flow from q0 to k1 from q1 uh, there a transaction from b but there is no transaction from q0 to q1 that is why it will never 
end of in the final stage so that is also uh, a transaction graph with empty language the second example is a language starting with a starting with a mean a multiplied by a plus b whole steric that will be the regular expressions the transaction graph is very simple uh, q0 uh, because it's starting with b so we have to take transaction for the basic world the basic world or the basic condition is starting with b then any combination of a comma b so we are going to take q0 is initial state then we take a transaction on b to q1 to the final state then any combination of a comma b will occur this is the transaction graph simple if you are going to trade dfa the next one is the dfa like this one is the dfa deterministic no so need we need to complete the dfa for that we are going to take uh, a transaction from q0 to dead end on a because q0 contain transaction for b but does not contain transaction for a so dfa is a little bit uh, complicated and transaction graph is very simple you need to fulfill the basic condition and then create a loop of a comma b it will it will be the uh, transaction graph the example of even even language we um, uh, i told you that you have to study even even language but is very really complex in uh, the uh, determinist finite automata but it is very easy and this uh, transaction graph uh, this is the regular expression for the even even language you have to q0 will be the final state and any combination of double a comma double b will lead us to the final state then a b or b a it will go to q0 and then a b or b a it will uh, come back into q0 uh, and any combination of double a comma double b on q1 that will be a simple uh, even even language deterministic finite automata uh, sorry uh, transaction graph these are a transaction uh, graph for the uh, finite languages finite languages if you are going to dfa for um, a finite language it will be very complex because you have to create transaction for every alphabets uh, in finite language it will um, create a very complex dfa but in transaction graph you have to take only one transaction and all sub all string can be placed like double a uh, a b b a uh, and so on uh, and b b uh, and it will goes to q4 which is a final state this is the uh, this is this is why we um, say the transaction graph is very simple to implement you have uh, to see other example on the uh, transaction uh, graph the next uh, step is generalized transaction graph generalized transaction graph definition is it is a collection of three things the first thing is finite state which is same as the above one initial intermediate states and may a final state the second uh, is the finite set of transaction and uh, directed edge connected directed edge connecting some states are labeled with regular expression you can take a transaction for a whole regular expression so that is more easy than a transaction graph generalization is more easy than transaction graph and a finite the third is in alphabet a finite set, set of input letter generalized transaction graph is a relaxed form of tg transaction graph and dfa it is also more relaxed in terms of rules so how it is being relaxed suppose we are taking example like uh, language having double a or double b so it means that having double a or double b no, or means a, a double a plus double b and any combination of a b at the beginning and at the end so the transaction graph is very simple q0 uh, and uh, loop of a plus b 
and then we have to take uh, the necessary the basic rules which is uh, must contain a double a or double b so we have to take transaction for double a plus double b and then it will goes to the final state k1 and it contain uh, a plus b whole steric so a plus b loop you can also uh, create only one transaction for this uh, a regular expression like uh, uh, like q0 will be the initial state and q1 will be the final state and you can take whole regular expression transaction you can take uh, transaction for whole regular expression the regular expression is a plus b whole steric uh, double a plus double b multiplied by a plus b whole steric so you can take uh, uh, you can take a transaction for whole regular expression uh, uh, in gtg in g t g generalized transaction graph allow you to take transaction for whole regular expression uh, so you can take so you can uh, create generalized transaction graph either like this or uh, you can take the transaction for whole regular expression the same is the next one uh, so um, uh, you have to study all these will be uh, very easy examples the next one is the non-determinism the the tg and gtg are non-deterministic why because uh, why it is non-deterministic it is not it is not uh, the dfa deterministic file and non-deterministic so it is called non-deterministic because it is uh, provide some relaxation is compared to dfa that is that is why we are we called it non-deterministic because it provides certain relaxation is compared to dfa that is that we can take empty transaction which is not allowed in dfa we can take transaction for a string or a substring which is not allowed in dfa we can take transaction for uh, we can take transaction for all we 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 do not need we do not need to take transaction for all alphabets which is not allowed in dfa we can take multiple transaction for an alphabet which is also not allowed in dfa because of these properties it is called non-deterministic the next one is the clean uh, clean's theorem the clean's theorem is if a language is represented by finite automata dfa it can also be represented by re and dg mean it, you can convert if a language is represented in dfa you can convert that dfa into a regular expression and a transaction graph and the second one is if a language is represented in regular expression so you can convert it into the dfa deterministic finite automata and transaction graph uh, also the third one is if a language is represented by transaction graph now you can uh, express or convert it into a dfa in regular expression so the simple method is if a language is represented by one of the represent uh, representation like finite automata re or tg so you can express you can convert into the rest two uh, so that is called clean star how to convert so regular expression to dfa if a language is represented in regular expression the second one then it can be represented in the rest of two dfa and tg so if it is represented in uh, our regular expression then you can convert into a dfa which we have discussed in the previous uh, lectures the first one is very simple the second one is dfa to uh, tg 
transaction graph if a language is represented in a t uh, dfa it can also be converted to digit so there is no need to do something because uh, uh, deterministic fine art automata is a special type of transaction graph uh, it is more complete so it is a special type of uh, transaction graph so you need uh, not to prove that the third one is if it is represented in transaction graph uh, uh, you can convert into a regular expression so from transaction graph you have to create a generalized transaction graph and then a regular expression this is the assignments for you perform uh, one example on each on transaction graph on generalized transaction graph also you have to um, uh, create uh, uh, um, a method uh, which uh, which uh, procedure for the following like regular expression to dfa conversion how regular expression is converted to dfa how dfa is converted to transaction graph how transaction graph is converted to regular expression and you have to submit it through WhatsApp and growth uh, in the next week. Inshallah, this is the end of the transaction graph and generalized transaction graph.